Next up, we're gonna walk through how to install the included accessories as well as optional ways of accessorizing your Rack Amaro. If you bought this and you're thinking, I really wanna do, uh, wanna fish off of it, I wanna use some of the additional features, here are some of the pieces you'd wanna put on. Your slide in rack receivers. You can slide in right here. A couple things too, if you're having a difficulty sliding these in, uh, you can also install them before you inflate. So typically at 12, shouldn't be a problem. But if you're having difficulty, just deflate it a little bit, they'll slide right in. And then you can inflate from there. You also have our sand spear sheath. And the key thing here is if you have loose screws over time, just double check, these should be 3 8 inch long. Anything longer than that, you run the risk of uh, potentially damaging the board. So just make sure you're using the right screws that come with the product, or if you have to replace them, use 3 8 inch. So put this in over here. This just slides in right here. Match up the holes, put the screws in. Do not use a drill. You're gonna to wanna to use just a screwdriver. You can always hand tighten these, but I recommend just using a little screwdriver. Tighten those down. Boom, good there. You also have, you got your sand spear sheath there, you got your paddle sheath for the nose. So same thing here, match up the holes. Same size screws, you a 3 8 inch. these up. Right. And let me just tighten these down. So grab your Phillips screwdriver. Down. Perfect, good to go. Now to go out in the water, all you really need, you know, for paddling, you wanna install your 10 inch pin that comes with it. This is a slide in, which I can illustrate in just a second. Simply slide in, and then you're gonna use the pin system, match up the holes, slide the pin in. So, it comes with a three-piece paddle, which push this little pin in. You'll notice there's a pin hole right here. Push the pin, clicks, tighten. And then you're gonna drop this in from the top. Make sure handle grip is facing the ax. This is your adjustment here. Nice thing too with these paddles, if this for a reason is loose, if, you, if this is twisting too much, you can always tighten it. This is a built-in little, uh, basically a, a wrench on it. So you can tighten just like that to get a little bit tighter adjustment on it. Boom, ready to go. And then we're off, we're stand-up paddleboarding. All right, now that we got your Rackham Arrow inflated, uh, just want to run through a couple of items that come with it. You know, we talked about paddle. This is your three-piece adjustable paddle. Typically, for stand-up paddleboard, you're going to hold your hand about 45 degrees and a little higher on an inflatable, especially this. You got a lot of girth here from six inches, so you're going to go a little bit higher to make your adjustments. So, like for me, I'm going to be about here. And of course, you can adjust it while out in the water. You got your paddle sheath option up here, so that's great for when you're out in the water. Quick, stick your paddle, take a picture. Uh, make a cast, whatever you need to do. But also while uh, not in use or and or if you are carrying it down to the water, you of course have your included straps here for the paddle. So you can strap it down on either side. You of course, all, all of our boards come with the travel link uh, connection points. This is great for carrying the board down to the water. Shoulder sling, get a travel link. I use it all the time. It'll save your, save your arms, uh, plus it frees up your arms most importantly to get down the water, carry all your gear, especially if you're fishing or if you're taking the family, you're the pack mule uh, for the family, like I am, you're carrying all your gear. So, nice features here. Uh, 
Another thing that a lot of times people don't realize, but this random little orange container is in here for a reason. This is our repair kit. Not that you should need it with military grade PVC, but in the event that you're hard on your toys like I am, you may need it. So you have two different strips of PVC to patch a hole. Uh, we recommend get some HH66. Uh, you know, it's a great uh, glue that you can use to help uh, patch an area should you need it. Uh, but also, here's your valve wrench. So this, and this is also a kind of a key thing for troubleshooting if ever it's like, hey, I'm losing air out of my board. What's going on? Oftentimes, it has to do with the valve. And so this is, put your wrench in there. And typically, you only need about a, a half quarter to a half turn just to tighten the valve. Sometimes, maybe it wasn't tightened completely. The other thing, too, is you want to check around the valve every once in a while. The material that gives us the rigidity, the drop stitch material, every once in a while, uh, you'll see a little piece of drop stitch that sticks in there because they have to cut the drop stitch out to put the valve in. So just a couple things to look. Do a little visual on the valve. If you see some drop stitch, just push it out of the valve. Problem solved. And or if this is loose, just do uh, start with a half turn, see if that solves your problem. Uh, most times that will do it. But this is handy. Keep it with you, especially going on a longer trip. Great. You can keep it with you. You can strap it down the board even. So repair kit. Feature-wise, you of course have your Magnapod here. So make sure you get a bottle, a tumbler. Make sure you have uh, your beverage of choice out in the water, of course. Now, uh, right now, this is set up for really for kayaking as it is with the seat on here. So if you're kayaking, I recommend that you want to install install your fin on the bottom. It's just going to help you track better. You don't have to use it, but it'll make you allow you to track on the water, go straighter, faster. Uh, and then pick up one of our five-piece adjustable paddles. So these are awesome paddles, adjustable, and since it's five-piece, it also breaks down and goes in the bag really easily, so you can travel with it. Uh, but click this together, and then just, you know, this is a wider board. So if you're a bigger person, you're probably going to want to adjust this out to 250, but really it's a matter of comfort, so you can paddle correctly in the water, but just tighten it down. And nice thing here, too, you can also strap it in here with paddle straps. So as I'm leaning across, strapping these in, Velcro in. And now, the third use of this uh, platform is pedal drive. So uh, you can sup it, you can kayak it, you can also do pedal drive. And to drop the pedal drive in, all you have to do is open these up on either side. Key thing is just make sure you open them all the way to the opposite side. You're going to lift out the clear plate, set this side, and then our Apex PD pedal drive and rudder kit. Sold separately, but this is an additional feature that you buy along with the kayak paddle. First and foremost, you're gonna just set this down. So right here, you notice, you get the pin in, match up the holes, push it through, locked in. To actually drop the pedal drive in, a little thing to keep in mind, make sure the propeller itself is matched up with the skag on here. So you're gonna drop in here. This little pin goes in the front, locks in. And all you do is clamp it down on either side. All three spots, you're ready to go. You, of course, have a clear little port right here so you can see down. That way you can also check to see if for some reason you get debris or something on the pedal drive itself. Uh, if you're out in the water, just, of course, open it up, pull it up, clean it. If you get some weeds or something on it, drop it back in, you're ready to go. So, and there's your pedal drive. You're ready to get out in the water. Now, a great thing, too, is with the front bungees here, depending on how you're using it and or during transportation, you can just pull this up, and again, and make sure those are all the way open. Pull that open. Drop this here, and you can lock it in here with the front bungees. So you have a way of storing it while you're transporting it down to the water, and or if you're out in the water, you want to stand up for a little bit. Different ways you could use it. Now, in order to use the pedal drive, how are you going to steer it? That's why we sell. Included in the kit is the rudder kit that you're going to need. So installing this, you have your, your mount back here. Now this is originally, oftentimes we talk about this being for PowerPro Micros, which it still is, uh, but to, uh, it is uh, still compatible with it, but you can also use it with the rudder kit. Just match it up, put this going forward. I always put the 
little back handle inside of it. Match up, you can drop the screws in. Do not use a drill. Make sure you use a screwdriver for this. Just because you'll you don't need it and you'll definitely over tighten. Drop these in. All right, simple, easy. A couple things to keep in mind, you do have for the actual rudder, this keeper, this is really for transportation. Once you get down the water, just release it, drops down for use. So you up or deploy it down. Now, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, uh, this is gonna be your steering component. So you can install it on either the right or the left. So really just think about if you're fishing, what hand do you wanna use for your rod more frequently, et cetera. Uh, I'm gonna install it over here on the right just so it's easier to see. You do have your sand spear Velcro straps here, so you can just drop it in here. And I typically go underneath this, this strap right here, just so it's not in the way. That way too, if you need to make any adjustments, it's not in the way. It can go over right there. And then as I'm reaching across, same thing here. I'm gonna go inside the adjustment strap. This just slides in. It's nice and snug right now. If you're having difficulty sliding that in, drop the, uh, the PSI, you know, just deflate this a little bit, it'll slide right in a lot easier. And then this is just a little keeper right here. So you got this Velcro, Velcro that in, that just helps secure it in place. And this is now your rudder control. So you can go right or left as you're out in the water. Again, you can go on either side, you have the same uh, option on this side for uh, installing it, you're ready to go out in the water. <clears throat> now, you look at the platform, so, Additional features, you can get you know, Apex pedal drive, kayak paddle. Uh, even if you are using a pedal drive, we always recommend that you still have a kayak paddle with you in the event for whatever reason, some failure, whatever it might be with the pedal drive. Somehow it gets damaged, you hit a rock, whatever it might be. Just make sure you have a backup plan while you're out in the water. Um, but beyond that, some other ways that you can accessorize your platform, especially if you're out there wanting to fish, uh, Shallow water anchoring is gonna be really important. If you're using the rudder kit, you don't have a PowerPro Micro. This is where your sand spear sheath comes in handy. And this is our cut down version of our eight foot sand spear. So that's so you can quickly stake it, shallow water and anchor up, hold on a spot, uh, fight that fish, get it in. You also have your slide and racket receivers back here. So this is where you can accessorize with a bucket rack, for example. Drop a cooler in. And now you also have a place for rod storage while you're out in the water. And again, uh, going back to the seat, you know, for example, for myself at 6'1, uh, the seat's gonna be too far forward, so you can just easily loosen the front, tighten the back, and adjust the seat back and forth. You also probably can't see as well, but you also have D rings here. So in SUP mode, or, and or if you were positioned a little bit forward, you could also do a um, cooler tie down kit, strap down a, a cooler while out in the water. So again, tons of versatility, a lot of different ways you can outfit this and have a great time out in the water. And even you can use it three different ways while on the same trip as well. So if you're kind of indecisive, do I want to paddle today? Do I want to pedal? Do I want to, you know, stand up paddle board? Do it all, take, take everything with you. You know, a couple of key accessories allow you to really outfit this and have a great time out in the water. So all in all, great platform. And don't forget your MagnaPod because you're gonna be having a lot of fun. Make sure you hydrate.